How's everybody doing? You can hear me? Okay, it sounds like it's not on, and I was like, sick prank. <laughs> and then everybody boosts me, and I was like, tight way to spend a Sunday! <laughs> okay. I'm going to be very honest with y'all. I got super stoned today and watched the piano for research. I had never seen it before. Has who's seen the who's seen the piano? <laughs> you have? You've seen the piano? You know what I'm talking about? The 1993 film The Piano? Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'm sorry. It, everyone is like groaning. I didn't know. There's uh, I don't know where to start. But I shouldn't have done it. I should not have watched it. I shouldn't. I certainly shouldn't have watched it high. That is not an experience that you want elevated. Um, a lot of sexual assault. Uh, <laughs> more than you think you're going to witness. And then, like, but somehow, like, longing and, like, they cut away to, like, a horse for a second. <laughs> The things you notice when you're high, if you haven't seen it, just Google um, the trailer for it, and it's kind of it, but then when you're in it, you're like, oh, you, like, there's, like, full-on, it's, like, a, it's also, like, I feel like I'm nervous, like, y'all are mad at me that I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like a little kid that's, like, trying to explain to their parents why they did something bad. Um, <laughs> I'm also doing, like, a terrible job. I'm like, there's sexual assault. There's, like full-on penetrative sex you see this man's wiener <laughs> and like you see it and then the next scene like this lady's daughter is like it's like set in the 1800s in the jungle i don't know and like they can't get the piano up from the beach i'm panicked i'm panicked and this woman is like mute uh because she was an opera singer and her first husband was a german composer and they like fucked and like they were like out in the field and like he was struck by lightning and like she could never talk again it's a lot of setup that you're gonna hear it through the voice of a child and <laughs> like so they are they like fuck and he's like he okay <laughs> this is not my set just wait a second i just <laughs> this is not don't do the time again um i have something i do want to talk about so like the whole thing is she was like married off <laughs> from i think who cares like london to like new zealand i don't know there's there's also like a lot of like a truly terrible representation of indigenous people and i i thought i was gonna just rip my own throat out but that you can't think about that that's the least thing that's the least work that's the not even the worst thing in this movie uh, so the man this so the, this guy like buys her um and her family because she's widowed right and like i guess her mother was like you're a burden and you know we, Women in the 1800s, burdens, women now, burdens, am I right, fellas? Blah, 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 nag, nag, nag. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> so she's like whatever she like gets sold off and the guy that also like they're all still wearing their petticoats and it's like muddy you know that bitch stinks you know they all stink right and i mean bitch in a way that i would say bitch about a man don't get pc on me right now i know it's a gay show but like i'm a like but i like we're friends here like there's no don't get prickly at me i'm only telling you what i saw on the academy award-winning 1993 acclaimed feature the piano the guy who's her husband is the, i don't know the actor's name but he who sam neil but he he's the guy that plays like scrooge right so he plays scrooge in this m movie Oh, he's the other guy. Oh, so Sam Neill has indigenous tattoos and like long hair and he's not married to her, but he like works for the dude that does, did marry her. Who's the other guy? Who? Okay, and he was also in the Tiny Tim movie, right? With the same sideburns? 
right? Watch it high and an incredible experience. So he like buys her and they like wash ashore to this little rowboat and they're like, the piano has to stay. And she's like, like she's, it's so bad. She's like furious. Like that sounds, I, these are, this is being recorded. And I gotta say, <laughs> I gotta go. You don't get it. I'm not trying to be offensive. Oh no. Um, <laughs> I didn't do it. So she hates her bot husband, right? Like she hates this guy. <laughs> Let's just call it what it is. Um, so this other guy that like lives on this like this jungle is like I'm, like in love with her. So he gets the piano and moves it to his house. This is so awful. Um, I do have a set, and basically. <laughs> He's like, she's going to teach me piano. He like cucks the other dude, which is pretty tight. But then, like, then, so this is really fucked up. He's like, she's playing and he, he kisses her neck. And she's like, no, you're awful. That's not even the worst thing. And then he's like, I, I want you to play for me, but I want to do stuff to you. And they have this b bargaining thing. I'm sorry, I'm telling you all the movie. It's awful, but I need y'all to know I'm not the bad person here because I have a <laughs> nagging ass wife. And I did that when I was talking about deaf people. But she's not deaf. She can speak. <sighs> so basically, he's like, she's like a sex worker for the piano, but he's like grooming her to fall in love and um, we watch it high. And um, so anyways, her daughter is like watching them fuck. And then, what? I didn't write it. <laughs> I did not write this. I'm just telling y'all why it came out here weird for a second. <laughs> That's how it all started. I said, is this a prank? And y'all were like, hmm. And I was like, oh, let me get you on a trip. <laughs> This part's really gross and was <laughs> incredibly upsetting. And if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. They cut to a bunch of naked kids imitating what the little girls saw her mom do, and they're all humping trees. <laughs> Not even the worst thing in that movie. Um, <laughs> can you imagine that's not even the worst thing in this movie to film the little children the 90s were wild could you imagine okay y'all are tense again <laughs> i was not the parent that was like yeah it's chill if my kid does that <laughs> hmm? now who's the bad man or the woman or the they Certainly isn't me. <laughs> it got even weirder when I said like naked children humping trees, right? <laughs> That's where the tension is. Wait till you hear about the rape. <laughs> <laughs> it won an Academy Award! <laughs> So it's okay, Jane Campion directed it. So. <laughs> you can start my time now. <laughs> Imagine you're what you're yes. Uh, imagine, I got the light, imagine you're watching like an intense um, sexual assault scene, but your hand is in a bag of gummy sour skittles, and you're just eating gummy sour skittles high as fuck on the couch watching this scene. It didn't feel good. Maybe you should all think about the way you're consuming your media, right? Look at me sitting on the couch, blase Lee eating junk food, <laughs> watching a woman, a mute woman, <laughs> get sexually assaulted. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
You all know what I mean. You've all had this moment where you're watching some fucked up shit and you're eating a piece of pizza, so fuck you. Fuck all of you. I'm the George Carlin of dykes. <laughs> Um, let me do this thing and then I'll leave (laughs) this is what I wanted to work on but now it's weird like maybe I should just leave on a high note (laughs) can I do this for 30 seconds thank you Um, y'all ever get like I'm not going to win. <laughs> y'all, we all get, you know, like, like sometimes you, y'all just get suggested post and you'll just, it's, I can't. <laughs> <sighs> So y'all know that, right? And it's like, (laughs) I just got to get through it. (laughs) Nothing's going to be better than that summary of (laughs) I just keep getting these suggested posts of like cuddly animals, unorthodox pairs. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. You're just scrolling and you see like a leopard like and like a gorilla and they're cuddling and you're like, they should be enemies. Um, (laughs) And it's like you're scrolling through Instagram and you're looking at like all your nemesis successes and you're like, fuck you, fuck. Oh, (laughs) pretty tight. No? Okay. (laughs) Excuse me. I had to cough. (laughs) But y'all ever see like cuddly animal post and you're like, Damn, you see one of your friends has liked it, or like a brief acquaintance, and you're like, damn, I'm sad too, Bobby Bobart. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, <laughs> and then for like a brief second, you think about reaching out, <laughs> seeing how Bobby's doing, because if Bobby liked that, and you're about to like that, you know you're both not in good places. <laughs> you just take, you take a second, and you're like, Bobby must be in pain too. But then right before you hit message, you got to realize, you know, you take, you're like, well, if I message Bobby, I don't really have the emotional availability or bandwidth to keep like a back and forth DM. You know what I mean? It's not going to be a one and done with Bobby. He's liking pictures of cute kittens, you know, like Bobby's in a dark place. So you don't. <sighs> Should have left. I'm not even going to finish it. Um, (laughs) But you also know what I'm talking about, right? We're like, you'll get a suggested video and it's like a disabled vet getting a makeover and they don't know. They don't know why they're getting a makeover. Like they're usually unhoused. And then like you just see them, like they think they have a shred of dignity, but then like they realize that they are losing their last shred because Tanner, like a 23 year old barber is virtue signaling. (laughs) thank you I have a show um, (laughs) at Nico's I did say July 11th but it's July 10th um, my dad's birthday Um, it's at 8pm if you like this it's a lot better Um, (laughs) thank you so much I'm Ever Maynard (laughs) 